He's got my prescription for reading. Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. <laughs> Here she is, folks. You done seen the thumbnail, so you know what it is. This is what I've been hiding with the logo back there. It's what I've been waiting to show you guys. She's been back there for a few months now. Looks like I bought her January 17th. Today's April 18th. That's right. We found another little Yeehaw, U-Haul, old Ford Courier. Uh, I told y'all, damn it, I'm gonna be the box truck king. Of course, we're building this one right now. This is my first Datsun I ever had in high school. Uh, we redid the air ride. She's getting built. She's getting this Yeehaw box or U-Haul box right here. And this one here is gonna be branded that's in King Delivery. Yes, sir, that's gonna be her right there. Speaking of her, last week, we got in here, we got Buck Nasty, guys. We built some floors, you wanna see them? Made both floor pans from scratch. Got us some little uh, seat pan, whatever is made. She features the speed hole riser kit. Yeah, and Slick started body working her. We even went out to my, my dad's place and we drug home old Blue 42. She's one of our old Datsuns. If you ain't seen that video, you wanna check it out. She's a good one. And speaking of box trucks, let's go look at the OG. Let's go look at that old Yeehaw. I ain't started her in a minute cause I stole her battery. She kinda been sitting back here in time out. She ain't in trouble, it's just where she got parked. She's got the Premium battery tray. It features speed holes to help keep the bottom of that battery cool for maximum efficiency. Bolts are overrated. Now hopefully she ain't too mad at me for letting her sit for a couple weeks. Hey girl, I know it's been a minute, but don't be too mad at me, okay? I've just been busy. Nothing. Hey, our fuel pump's undone. That's weird. Maybe that'll help get a fuel pump on. I did not undo that wire, so that's kind of weird. Come on. Oh yeah. She's a good girl, guys. She's a good girl. <laughs> So here she is, there's a, that's the OG baby, that's the original gangster right there. Knows the answer, none of these are for sale. I have people ask all the time if I wanna sell my little box trucks. Guys, the answer is no. I can't have the box truck mafia if I sell them. <laughs> that Yeehaw is very budget friendly, guys. We did it as cheap as possible. Uh, just got her running, cool little budget friendly makeover. Uh, the Datsun King delivery, she's a little bit more elaborate. But the one we got today, she's gonna be another budget friendly, just fun and cheap one. I don't know about you guys, but I like that budget friendly stuff. Now, I told you I bought it, what, January 17th? Uh, so yeah, here's a little flashback of what it was like going to get this thing. I'm sure y'all thought these glasses couldn't get any better, but just wait. They do, we're back in Texas, baby. <laughs> Me and Bill's gonna buy every damn yeehaw y'all got hit in this state. We're finding them all, dang it. Get my old trusty steed in the drive and we're gonna hit this uh, old open trail. Got a new hat and a biscuit, can't be mad at that. Boy, it's a damn good thing I got this sun deflector cause I can't see deadly. Now, I know I told you guys we were coming after a yeehaw, right? 
Well, this ain't no yeehaw. This baby here's the sausage wagon. The gentleman we're buying this from, Barry, uh, he told us how his mom named this thing the sausage wagon. And a uh, couple guys uh, did flooring and stuff out of it. They drove all over this, you know, kind of Dallas area. And, well, boy, howdy, we're going to bring her home today. Y'all get a lot of snow in Texas or what? We got dang snow bikes. She is in good shape, guys. Well, I think every damn cab on any of these trucks ever are dented in. Well, we got a real tree growing in there. We got a Christmas tree. Let's see if we can pop her out. She just needs a good smack. There we go. One more, baby. Oh, how about here? Now, ain't no body working professional, but we got her about two thirds of the way there anyhow. She's even got a little stripe down the side on her. One more out in the middle. That thing's like brand new. Fancy red door panels. We got some custom carpet going on here this side ain't all beat in she's in pretty good shape looks like we might have some puddings fab shop blue on the hood it's meant to be y'all we're bringing her home this is what he used it for okay she's full of storage so we're gonna have to clean that out then we're gonna have to pull her out and she is on flats and i mean flat flat guys she's been sitting for uh He's had it for 35 years. He's only moved it twice. It was running when he parked it 35 years ago. You can say I'm a little excited about her. So uh, let's see if we can get her up out of here. Barry's getting her strapped up here. We're gonna yank her out. <laughs> Which key is going to the truck? How long you been collecting these? I'm gonna go to the... I I'll find it, bet. Okay, yeah, you can. <laughs> he says the key's on here, we'll find her. I know what I'm looking for. Here comes the sausage wagon. Oh yeah. Man, that's a good looking truck. The sausage wagon don't look bad neither. I was talking about his. <laughs> I think they were all rolling, so ain't none of them locked up. Is that right? That's pretty rare. <laughs> What's up? There goes a rat. He's quick. Bill and Barry said it was running. So now it went over to the old E-Class. <laughs> Barry, yeah, Barry, she upgraded yep, to the E-Class. <laughs> She's fancy now. Yeah. She's all there, ain't she, Sig? What is it? Something was living in here. We just had another rat run out of it. Here, Bill, you record. Got them all finally. <laughs> Get our briars next. <laughs> That's a good quality Texas briar. Yeah. You rope a cow with them. That's what your hat's made out of. <laughs> <laughs> well, we done got a pogo stick. We done got a helmet to keep us safe. This thing fits better than that old cowboy hat anyhow. That's our touch-up paint we just found there. <laughs> yep. She's parked near close, and whoever painted it paints how I do anyhow. Now you watch you get her going. Stand up on the side. Oh. Hello, ER. Here we come. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like Christmas when it's that time of the year, much less damn January. Yeah. Does she look good, Bill, or does she look good? Looking good. Well, oh, I think the motor just fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Give her one good sniff, she's leaving. Christmas tree up there. Tell me this don't look like a postcard, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> push it, hood, and push it. If I can ride a bull, I can push a courier. I just worked for 30 minutes trying to shut this damn door, <laughs> but we may have found the keys. I'll be damned if you didn't find them. Yeah. She won't start though. She ain't cranking or nothing. <laughs> yeah, you got no battery, in it, but that's the keys, right? <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, man. How many keys do you see, sir? 
How many? Yeah. Too damn many. <laughs> Too damn many. Yeah. We had a rooting, tooting time getting her loaded, guys. She wasn't bad to load all the wheels. Uh, none of them are locked up, which is good. That's rare. We're going to hit the dusty trail, head on back to the Oklahomas. My mom and dad always told me I was destined for greatness. They said, son, one day you'll find something much bigger than yourself. Though it took years and years of searching, I finally know what that is. I am the best damn box truck wrangler this side of the Mississippi. I'll wrangle them all up, baby. But you know what they say, to get the box, you gotta be fast on the draw. And I'm quick, baby. Boy, I'm quick. Well, we're gonna unload her right here with the old fleet, but first, we gotta pull off. 0.25 around. I think we're good there, folks. We take her straight forward. Then we can bring in the sausage wagon. <laughs> so damn worried about talking to you guys. I forgot to unhook her. Dang it. Done broke our good light, too. Hell. Well now, she's really being stubborn, ain't she? I ain't got nothing to do with burying that damn caster a couple inches. Damn gopher. Damn gopher. Damn gopher. Damn gophers. God bless the farmers. I think my camera died. I just pulled forward and she just, uh, she did the slide off the back. Who needs an automatic transmission anyways? What the hell y'all doing over there? Yep, that's how they get you. Well, we got her looking good back here, didn't we? <laughs> Can y'all believe I don't even charge my neighbors for this beautiful view? Welcome to PJ's. Here at Puddin's Junk, our mini trucks are usually low, but our prices are always high. If you got a box truck or U-Haul, I'll buy every damn one in sight. Come on, baby. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Uh-huh, so me and Bill, we had fun going and getting that one. We got her January 17th. The month before, December 14th, me and Bill went down there to Texas and got the box that's going on that one. Got that truck. Now let's go get this one. I got some wheels and tires here, so maybe we can get her rolling around, make it easy on us. Woo. Perfect. Boy, speaking of perfect, check out these shirts here. Uh-huh, that's the old Yeehaw on fire. Yeah, I may have set it on fire once. Uh, I was kind of waiting to release them shirts, but we decided to release them last week. So there may still be some on the website, guys, if they didn't sell out. So check it out, along with our other good merchandise. We got other odds and ends of shirts. And of course, we got the stickers, the koozies. We just got all the goodies. So just head on over to the www.puddingsfabshop.com and get them all they're hot, baby. This message is Pot County Legend approved. Get my bibs back on before someone tries to prance on me. So I said last video I was moving some vehicles around. Even went and got old Blue 42 out from Dad's. Even in the flashback y'all just seen, I had probably what, I don't know, six, seven vehicles sitting here. Well, not no more. We're down to just the good old sausage wagon sitting back here. 
There she is, guys. There she is. If I'm being honest, I'm way too excited about this thing. Now, y'all seen me get it in that video. Guys, after that, I parked it here, and that's pretty well been it. I ain't looked her over real good, just what we looked her over before. I can tell I already like it. Let's try to get it rolling and up to the shop. I just don't think these are gonna air up, you know what I mean? Now, since I parked it back here, I did pull it up off the fence once, then I shoved it back on the fence. I'll show you why here in a little bit. These steelies will be for the back, because these ones here will clear the front calipers. These style will not. Calm down, tiger. Oh, there's one. Pretty sure they all roll. There's two, coming down. The valve stem cap matches our impact. Shut up. Hey she spins until she doesn't. That's better than not spinning at all. You can look at that damn white stripe and you can look at that Puddin's Fab blue hood and you know this one ain't gonna play no games. I'm gonna try to get her pulled up off the fence line. We've drug them up to the shop before with no help. I may have some help today, so I'm gonna go see if my oldest daughter's still here from her lunch break. I did throw that in from our one parts truck. Hey, there you go. I'm gonna just give it the Pot County side surf here. She rolls pretty good, actually, it seems like. I ain't playing around back there. She's giving her some gas my style let's just get her done you better slow down she's good so much easier with two people holy cow come on new balances you can do it you got a girl oh i think we got her now First thing we're gonna start with here, guys, we're gonna start with the nice and easy makeover. Now I found these Model A wheels right here already in the oxide primer, nice little white wall, and I thought they'd look good on this truck since uh, it already is this color. You damn right, I think those will look pretty good. Looks like we're gonna have to get us some custom adapters because that's six lug and those are five, and we may have to lift it a little bit. Just playing guys, we don't do a makeover until we make sure it's gonna run or not. And when we do do a makeover, we damn sure don't put those wheels and tires on it. I know y'all think she's ugly, but I've got a vision for it already. But we don't do nothing with that vision if it don't run. So we gotta figure out if she's a runner. Let's pop the hood on this old girl. This one's a little tricky to pop because she's busted. She almost holds herself up there. Here she is in all of her glory. We know there's a rat in there. We done synced it run out. Nice little two, three. Y'all know my style. Before I get in there and work on it and yank on it too much, I like to pull the head, uh, not the head, hell. <laughs> the hood off and clean them up so it's clean for us. Well, we got a red wasp right there just waiting to play some games, don't we? You wanna play some games now? Huh, huh, huh? Come on, buddy. Holy floppy hood. Well, I think that old hood's just made of jello. Set her off to the side. That helps us see a little better what's going on. Pretty nice little oil leak going on somewhere back here, it looks like. Of course, she's got the good old smog baloney system on her. There's Mortsky's favorite. We got the flexi hose up top. Oh, and down low, got a twofer. She don't quite have the uh, battery cooling vents like the Yeehaw does. Hey, there's the pesky old governor. Well, you see that old bright green oil filter down there, huh? A little bit of custom wiring going on here. Yeah, let's get her cleaned up before we dig around too much.
there we go. Oh, a little backfire on her. Pa pow. <laughs> Our washing's done. She looks pretty good. This washing came with a free complimentary air dry. That little muffler's just a crackling. She's hotter than a two-pecker tomcat, I guarantee it. Whoa! <laughs> Run myself over, help. Just got her going, but that old door was open. I'm gonna rent this thing to the local football coaches. So here she is, all cleaned up. Looks pretty damn good, guys. Not, not shabby. Now, we still got some pretty heavy grease on that valve cover, but, uh, hey... You wanna check the oil on her or what? Look how bright that is. She's just begging to be checked. I would say she is slightly low. She barely touching the ad mark. But what's she smell like? <laughs> she smells like gas. <laughs> Put her back. Did Mordsky's little flex hoses let out all of our coolant or what? She's a little dry. I wonder if the license plate says when this thing was last tagged. Uh, good luck. That's what it says. Y'all want to see what I was hiding in the back here? <laughs> that ain't where you store your damn $5,000 wheels and tires at? Yeah, she's a good little storage shed. I ain't got a hold of her yet to see if she's free, so let's see if she's free. Oh, I think she's spun. Oh yeah, she's spinning. Well, at least we know she ain't locked up. I hate to do it to you again, guys. Y'all didn't see me do well at runs on a couple of these little two threes, but y'all know me. If I'm gonna keep it, and I'm telling you, this one's staying in the fleet. Even if this two three is bad, we'll get a good two three in it. What I'm saying is, this smog crap is getting deleted. You're just literally asking for vacuum leaks everywhere. And I mean everywhere on these things, guys. Best thing, in my opinion, to do, you rip the crap all off there. And I'm going to do that first because I don't want to take out these spark plugs and be cutting metal next to there. So let's get this crap out of our way. Safety first. Yeah, y'all know I got the sweetest safety glasses on in Pot County. I guarantee it. First, we're going to slice the old exhaust pumper tube deluxe feed kit. Damn camera died. Just slice that. Now we're going to get her sister. Get our old brackets here with a little luby dooby. So let's see what all in the vacuum hell we got going on here. Yeah, she's got the old flight head screw plugger. Oh yeah, she goes back here to all that. That's good. Here we go. I'll take that whole bracket. I don't even know what the hell it is. Come on, damn it. Oh. Those have been on there for a minute. I guarantee it. Holy cow. I don't even know what the hell that is. We're getting there anyhow. Pop our old coil wire off, then our cap off, and we're gonna get our wires out the way. There we go. Got a big enough mess without them being involved. Look how much better that looks already. Start the pile. This piece here may stick around. Never know. Might need to squirt the old windshield wipers. She's ready for the pile. Whoop! We're doing all right over here now. Uh, let's attack this. This is referred to commonly as the guaranteed to leak and cause headache uh, vacuum circuit. And it really makes the pile grow. Break the old tensioner loose. Boy, that wasn't very tight. Got our belt removal tool. There we go. Magic. Don't come to sweet papa. Oh, thought I was going to be able to pull start it. Shit, talky mushrooms. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Smack both them elbows on that fender. That fender didn't give a damn neither. Yeah, should have known better on that one. Uh, at least I got it. <laughs> Small victory sometimes, you know. That makes sense. The loosest one, she holds her ground. 
that big ugly bracket out of there. Since we're here, we might as well clean the ground. There we go, get her smoke back down. We can lay this back to our distributor. There we go, got her out of there. Yeah, we got an oil leak going on somewhere. <laughs> Now, I don't know that for a fact, guys. That's just an educated guess. I'm sure some of you guys are tired of seeing me mess with these things, but it will never, not ever, blow my mind of how much better these little engine compartments look every time after you do that. Uh, what we want to do? Pull the spark pluggies? Yeah, we'll pull them. We're going to mark number one first. Oh, this plug wire ain't want to come off. She's a El Permanente. Yep, that's a little ripped or something. I don't know what's going on there. Get them out of her way. A look here. Yeah, they're just some little guys. Get these babies pulled. Pretty snug, not overly tight. Survey says she looks good. A little bit of carbon build up. Number two. She will do. She's a little dirty. Number three. Looks dirty to me. And good old number four. You son of a s'more. You look pretty good. The oil around her. Uh, thus supporting my theory of an oil leak. Gotta hydrate pump fake spin. No points. I'm gonna make that one of these days. It ain't happened in a year, but one of these days. Y'all want to have a little look-see down in the motor? See if I get this old boroscope fired up. Never know what dirty secret she may be hiding in there. Please connect device. What do you think I'm doing? Sitting here because I'm bored? Oh, helps if you plug it in where it says camera. That makes sense. Gotta treat her like old Nintendo cartridge. I think I got her figured out. I think we're live. We tried, guys. We tried. Battery's dead on that old boroscope, so I'm gonna let her charge for a minute. Now, instead of standing around with the thumb up my butt doing nothing, why don't we just pull off this carburetor? Even if we keep the factory carburetor, I still want to get rid of this bull crap. So this here's gonna be our supply. She's slightly brittle. This one here is gonna be our return. We know that because that little diaphragm right there, diaphragm, whatever you want to call her, she restricts the fuel return, actually. Oh, that baby's pretty underneath there. We take off our little spring here. Now our throttle here, she looks like she's been in Pot County before. We got some bailing wire right there. You damn right. Y'all's all right, Texas. I like y'all style. Yep, you guys are all right. Boom! Yep, she slides right out of there. Now we're gonna cheat just a little bit here. Instead of pulling these little studs up in here, we're gonna go straight down to here and take this whole adapter off. As long as we can get to all four bolts, which I think we can. From what I can see there, even the old base gasket looked like it was possibly, maybe, fairly new before it was parked. I see that corner right there sticking out. See what I'm talking about? I hate to tell you guys, that gasket wasn't your vacuum problem. That's all over there now. That's your vacuum problem. Of course, we don't want her sucking vacuum down there neither. Pop that. She's ready to pick up off there. She ain't locked up. That accelerator pump's a little crunchy though. She got something down in her actually. So if you guys don't know, this thing here it's just an adapter piece. Yeah, look at old big mouth Billy Bass right there. Of course, we got some dirt daubers. That's good. Our gasket's going to have a slide issue right here, so might as well get this cleaned up. I'm going to try this old scraper that old Mortsky's all, always uh, hooting and a hollering about. The old super scraper. Let's see if she's about here. Oh! I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Man, look at that. She just 
she just cuts her right off there. See what I got in my box of goodies here. Uh, it's another one of them adapter pieces. Not what I'm looking for. That old yeehaw breather out the way. And well, 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 looky there. Here's what I'm looking for, I believe. Put this by our cousin here. And this is that, only this one's rebuilt. And she's got the BS delete kit on her. See all that extra metal right there? On this one, well, I just cut it off, shaped that ear to match the others, and that hole right there that was left, well, well, she's plumb full of JB Weld, okay? She's still holding to this day. That's the Pot County Smog Delete Kit right there. We have an opportunity to cheat right here because this thing should be good to go. We should be able to bolt her on, no problem. I think we earned us some fruit snacks, guys. Hopefully the old borescope's charged up enough. We're gonna have a look-see in the motor. There we go. There's the top of our piston. Got some nice shiny walls on her. A little water may have made it to her or something. Overall, she looked pretty good. Look at number two. Yeah, she looks about like the same. Need the cross hatching on them walls right there. Got some nice walls on her. We got some crud or something right there in number three. Worry about that, it'll burn out. <laughs> and good old number four. Boy, she's got some crud in her also. Y'all see that? Don't worry about that crap, guys. You get her spinning fast enough and it'll blow that crap out of there. Hey, it will or it won't. I'm guessing there's maybe some crap built up. Of course, I tried to pull start it. Uh, use my elbow to make sure that fender was solid. It was. Uh, maybe when it moved in, we knocked some crap loose. I ain't worried about a little crud, guys, overall. She looked really good in there. We are going to put a little lubrication up in this situation. Can you work the WD-40? Not that part. This part. That part. <laughs> a little spray down in number one. Nice little generous helping. Can't forget about classic number three. And we can't leave four out after giving the other three attention, can we? How you doing, baby? Working at you. Show them how you fixed your basket. Fixed her right up, didn't we? It's trying to work. Oh, you wanna work, I know you. This one does not work. You don't got a very good bubble attack. No, I don't. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bubble maker. Hot Rod just blew so many damn bubbles that I'm sure of it. At least a thousand went down in here and it probably went and cleaned out the motor. So she should be nice and clean in there now. So as we let that WD-40 do her job and we let those bubbles deep clean and do their job, uh, be a good time to change the oil. Uh because we're about ready to start cranking on it. Hopefully she's got a good starter. This right here is how you know I want her to be a good one. If she gets the oil change, she's a high prospect. Get the little ratchet and device on there. She's a 16. She was all there too. They had that baby snug. Hell, now she don't want to give us her tool back. Come on. See what comes out. The little oil that was there was pretty dark. Just oil, didn't get no water, but she was pretty dang low, it looks like. Yeah, she definitely had some gas down in her, I guarantee it. That's the easy part of this oil change. These filters down here are kind of a pain sometimes. Let's see if we can get this old bright green filter out of here. Oh, she's on there. Let's get our oil filter wrench. All right, there we go. Oh. The good thing is, we knocked a hole in her, so she'll definitely drain. The bad thing is, I don't think she spun one bit yet. Maybe it's just me, but every time I do one of these damn two threes, I struggle. Get the vacuum hose out of the way for a brake booster there. Give us a little room to work. Ugh. This green oil filter gonna make me turn green like the Hulk. Oh. 
Don't worry about my custom lock there, okay? Got us a Wix filter. You know good and well we got them TKO hand wipes from the sweet patiner. We also got us some motor oil here. Mr. Ralph from the Key family sent us out enough oil changes, guys, for the next 14 years. So we're going to consume one of them. And then them hand cleaning wipes, they're available at thesweetpatiner.com. Just be sure to, you know, use that old classic promo code on the screen, baby. We're going to use this pro line. All right, it says right there, she's all season. That's good, because as we roll out of spring into summer, it's ready for all seasons. As we go into fall, then to winter, it's ready for all seasons. Of course, you can't beat a Wix oil filter. You probably can. It just sounds good when you say that. <laughs> so we're going to fill her up just a little bit here. Now, don't forget, you take your dirty finger, you touch that new oil, and you got to gotta take her around on the seal right there. That way, that seal's ready to go. Hopefully I get it started easier than I got it off. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, we got her started already. Go fast before you lose that oil. Got her snugga dugga. Don't be talking crap about my safety glasses, okay? I like these things. No, I don't care if my daughter said they look like girl glasses when I picked her up from school. <laughs> Hell, I don't care. I like what I like. If you don't like it, you can take a hike. You know what I mean? Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Got that snug? So as we go to put oil on this thing, it reminds me, uh, this thing's missing a tab off of here. So I'm wondering if it didn't break and fall down in there. We may want to pull that valve cover is what I'm saying. She may need a couple love taps. Oh yeah, she did. Nothing scary looking up here. I am surprised to see a little oil up here still. I did have a little water getting there during our pressure washing. I do not see our plastic piece, which is what I was looking for. So I'm gonna slap that back on. We could have poured damn hot chocolate in this engine and it would have looked like quality oil compared to what came out. Go for two quarts. Nope. Go for three quarts. Nope. Go for four quarts. Upwards elbow strike. Nope. Then five and six. We're only putting in five. Luckily that box comes with six. We already know this thing's gonna leak. So you just tuck that extra cord over here. You top it off as you go. Self-changing oil right there, baby. Check that oil now. Boy, you damn right she's up above safe. We're gonna do this one hacky sack style. Took that way too serious. <clears throat> Alright. Definitely did not make it. I landed behind y'all. <laughs> I got some stuff to take care of this evening. We're at a pretty good stopping point. I'm gonna put a little more looby dooby down the cylinders. We'll be back on her in the morning. Let's say she wants to crank this morning. Oh, get us battery here. Look at that old baby ground right there. Hey, I like that right there. Classic nail. If you can't get that bolt tight, just wedge your nail down in there. I'm telling y'all, that thing's meant to be in Pot County. A little polish job here. A little polish job on the inside. She's a little dirty. You can tell that uh, these have been on here a minute. See how she's a little loose? Now you bring her home with the nail. Snug as can be. She could use a nail too. Let's get our squeeze trigger on here. Take this side straight to the battery. Of course, this side goes on our starter solenoid. Little problem on these. That starter's just way down there in Alabama and I don't feel like crawling down there. Now, easy solution is, there's a quick connect right here for the harness. And well, that big black 
wire right there with the yellow stripe. I do believe that's her. So I like to just take a cotter pin and I just kind of wiggle worm her down in there. Then we can just clip that right there. And with any luck, when we squeeze this trigger right here, she's gonna crank. Let's see if she wants to play. Going live. camera picked it up or not but this did shoot some sparks at first but hey cranking's cranking I noticed we didn't shoot out any uh, WD-40 which means they probably went down around the rings uh, maybe we'll do a little compression testing got the little compression tester screwed into number one let's see what she's got <laughs> Fill in about, oh, I don't know, a buck ten. Sit some WD down in her and see what happens. Snug that back up. Uh, the WD-40 will help them ring seal off and uh, should get us a little more compression. Not a lot, but she did get us a little, about a buck twenty. Sure sounds like we're pushing air out over here to me. We'll check the rest of them real quick. Number two. Hell, she got up there above a buck 80. Number three. Did y'all see that thing jumping? You can hear it blowing out air. Uh, we got some valves not seating as well there. Still hit a buck fifty. And lastly, but not leastly, number four. It hits about a buck fifty as well. Let's see if we can get some spark out of her. Now these things don't have points, guys. It has electronic uh, ignition here. So let's just see if we can get our coil hot. We'll use a jumper wire. Go to our positive. Take our test light here and we're gonna ground it. Right there's a real good ground. I'm gonna assume something in here is gonna have some hot to it. Hey, are we flashing? There we go. So we can put her right there and make her coil hot. Put her coil wire over here where she can ground to that intake. Put that coil hot right there. Let's see if we got spark going live. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's sparking. Now we're gonna disconnect that. I may have rode the lightning in the last wheel it run. I damn sure did, that key was left on and I never checked it, so I disconnected my jumper wire. It didn't matter. I got a hold of that thing, it lit me up good. <laughs> Let's just say, I became the path of least resistance, okay? Boy, she traveled right through me. Pop a rotor off since we're in here. I'm gonna just clean her up real quick with our emery board. Really tune her out with the 240 side here. <laughs> Got them tips shining anyhow. Better than nothing. Pop her back down. Where'd her old cap go? Here she is. Yeah, she's pretty corroded looking. Y'all see that? I'm gonna give this the scrub job deluxe. See all that corrosion on the end there? She ain't gonna be perfect, but it'll be better than all that corrosion anyhow. The surfaces of them are pretty pitted. She could use a new cap, but we ain't got one here, so can't worry about that. Pop her back into place. Damn, little clip's broken. I was trying to make her look professional. Get them half laid out anyhow. Uh, where'd our spark pluggers go? Uh, found them, and they need a little cleaning. The spark pluggers just so happen to be sitting next to my uh, new spark plug restoration tool. There you go. That baby's practically good as new, guys. Here at Puddin' Spark Plug Restoration Services, LLC, and more, we don't cut corners, guys. So after we restore those things to brand new, we definitely want to check that old spark plug gap. Now, I may look like a professional, but don't let me fool you guys. I mess with so many of these vehicles that I can't remember a spark plug gap to save my life. That's why I refer back to the book. That's what makes me professional. 
the fact that I insist to do it correctly, so we better refer to the old oil manual. BMW, no sir. Capri, not far enough. Datsun, we done gone too far. Where's that courier at? There she is. Courier tune-up specifications. Now I'm worthless without my reading glasses. He's got my prescription for reading. Those got my prescription for safety. 1981. We're just assuming she's an 81. Uh, 31 thousandths or 34 thousandths. Depends on the plug. Well, I got the good old auto lights made in USA. I'll spark your ass up 1250s right there. I'm going to say between 31 thousandths and 34 thousandths is close enough. My spark didn't look the hottest, so maybe we'll favor the 31 thousandths. This gapper here is a classic. Hell, she's been around for years. Well, this SOB's gapped out to about 41 thousandths. Maybe at one point she had the performance ultra spark coil on her and they had her running hotter. I don't know, so I'm going to close that gap up a little bit and uh, re-gap these things out where I want them. There we go. Hell, and y'all know what they say. They'll either spark or they won't. That's their options. Small little spray and pray ain't going to hurt nothing before we put them in. snug a dug -a. snug a dug -a. Snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. We know this one here is number one because we marked her with blue tape, right? Going clockwise, one, three, four, two. Number one comes down over here. We're going clockwise, one, three, four, two. So those are laid out good. Hell, it never hurts to double check, guys. Get number two on. Now, I think number three was our funky one, right? Yeah, I think she's torn in there, guys. Yep, that could be an issue. Get that out of there. I believe we can repair that. I ain't saying she's going to be good as new when we get done, but it might get you off the side of the road or something, you know. We're going to open up our crimp, get that little piece out that's left. Don't worry, I'll bring her to y'all. Now you see that part right there, that's what we're after. We need that folded back. You want it favoring this side, and whatever we got to do to squeeze that and make it stay, give her a squeeze. Try to fold them edges down where she bites into it. The better the bite, the longer she'll last. That's a pretty good bite right there. Squeeze her back towards each other. Boy, you got a Pot County plug wire right there. Just slide your boot back down. You don't want to get zapped. Oh yeah, she popped right on. I even make her look fancy and pop her in the damn clip holders. Get that coil wire on. My ignition should be pretty good there. Good enough to try anyhow. Uh, where are we at? I guess we need to get a carburetor back on this thing. Luckily for us to get that on there, uh, we need a big, awkward, floppy base gasket for that thing. Cut us a big piece to start with here. Make sure that'll cover that. It does. I'm gonna take our spare one here. I'm gonna kind of sit that there. Do the best I can to trace that. I ain't scared to guess on a corner. See how we did here? Did pretty good. Pretty happy with that, guys. Now, for the holes in the corners, we're going to take a socket here. And I'm going to knock her out with this hammer. Just like that. Hey, yo. This is the part where I got to be careful because sometimes I get overexcited on these home stretches and I go real crooked. There she is. Hopefully, she fits. Uh, since we got a wire wheel sitting right here, I can't help it. Let's go drop her on. Set that there. 
She's ready for her bolt. <laughs> that was my cordless ratchet sound, by the way. Hook up our few wires here. Now we'll hook everything else up on this carburetor. Hopefully this carburetor's good. I think the last time I used it, we did a smoky burnout in that uh, yeehaw. She's good enough for that. She should be good enough for this. We need our little uh, PCV valve here. Connect that to that. Of course, I plug those. We're going to take that one down to our distributor. Get us some good quality vacuum hose here. Get her shoved on there. Man, that old stuff is stiff. Shove her on up there. And we need to plug our vacuum tree. That thing spins pretty easy, so hopefully she don't leak. Pop that. Clipper. One, two, need three vacuum pluggers. One right there, right there, and right here. Guys, we're at least to the point where I want to see if she'll run off the bottle of Get Her Done 91 here. Got a fresh new batch. Let's see if this engine's going to half run. See if we maybe wasted an oil change on her. Who knows? Give her a little spray. We're going live. <laughs> Nothing. Pretty sure this battery's trash, guys. That's the same one that died with my winch the other day after charging it. This one ain't dead. A little backfire action. Let's just hop over to the extra strength night night juice and see what happens. We're gonna pull this plug out. I'm gonna take that old finger plugger, put it right in there. I'm gonna bump the engine over, and when this thing hits compression stroke, that compression's gonna stroke my finger clean out of the hole. You'll hear it. Maybe you didn't hear it, but it started to push my finger out. <laughs> Trying to look for our timing marks here. You can see the pointer down there, but that shield's a little rusty. So I'm gonna look in here, and I'm gonna spin it by hand until it gets the top dead center, because I can actually see the piston. Should be pretty close to right there. I used a little scotch bright, and I found our marks there. First one's right there, second one's right there. Got it right at top dead center. Let's open up our distributor cap. Well, 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 looky there. Y'all see where that damn thing's pointing at? Number one's on compression stroke at top dead center. Wherever this is pointing, that's number one plug wire. We marked number one, and that was showing over here on this side. Hell, that's why she ain't running. So we're gonna slap this cap back on, and uh, here's our new number one. Just pull these off real quick. Here's our new number one. Next we put on three, number four, and good old number two. Get our spark plug back in, pop that back on. We're ready to try again, maybe with the right firing order this time. Yep, she sounded like she had a little timing issue. Here we go, round two. Hit her with the go-go juice. <laughs> Probably help if we make our coil hot. Come on, baby. She was thinking about it. She's like, hey, I might. Come on. Go, baby. She's trying to run now. Better than what we had. Oh. We may have to get us a little bit better fuel system going here. Thought surely we'd get her off the bottle. 
I ain't gonna call that a start, but I, I mean, she did something anyhow. Uh, let me weld up these two exhaust pieces we cut. That hole in this hole. There's one. There's two. Hell, if anything, it'll make it easier to hear underneath here. Hopefully y'all seen the sparks off of that one that time. If they want to be upgraded, let's upgrade them. Yep, that's definitely aluminum. Not here, we got some classic copper. Smoke them down. She may be new, but I'll still give her a polished job. There we go. That may be slightly better than that. Damn insulation on that ground's paper thin. Quality with a capital T. That's the Puddin's Fab Shop guarantee. That's better. Act like we ain't got no damn spark now. Where'd our spark go? Looks like we got us a bad jumper wire here. That's what we got. Let's try our other wire here. See if it does better for us. There we go. Coil's hot again. Go girl! She may wanna. Uh-huh. Still got a little spitting and sputtering going on. Uh, maybe a safe bet to maybe loosen the distributor because if the firing order is 180 off, uh, good. We, we don't know what's going on. We can't assume she's got good timing is what I'm saying. Loosen her clamp down in there. <clears throat> I ain't managed to spin it yet though. She spun a little bit. She just don't want to spin very good. I'm gonna put this thing down, flip it and reverse it. See if I can't get that distributor to work it. It's your yarn freaking freaking yet. Uh oh. Hey, looky there. Something's going on. Look how we just melted that clean out of there. If I was a betting man, our jumper wires back feeding a lot of stuff and it's power, but there ain't nothing on. What the hell, over? We'll worry about that in a minute. We're gonna get this distributor free. Or we're gonna break it trying. Come on. Keep letting that do a little soak in. Turned our key on and our coil's hot, so we'll just use the key instead of the jumper wire. Yeah, still not quite. Got something going on. Go, baby, go! Hey, looky there! Go, girl! Keep her going! Keep her going! You dang right! damn right guys uh we must be getting close on her with our timing i'm guessing uh, i did kind of shoot fuel everywhere but i sprayed some up in that carburetor and it seemed to be drawing it through nice little couple quiet revs uh i think what we need to do now is get our distributor free where we can really mess with timing and kind of try to tune her out and we need to hook up a fuel system of course the one time i turn off the old tailpipe cam uh she fires up she didn't shoot nothing out anyhow. Our last wheelet run, I tried three different fuel pumps for that Datsun, couldn't get it to run, so we put her on like an IV drip. I knew there wasn't no way in heck that three fuel pumps could be bad, but uh, 
Yeah, I couldn't get any three of them to work. Hey, I was doing what I had to do. Uh, now, after seeing those jumper wires just burn up, well, I was using another set for our fuel pumps. I tested all three like we're testing right here, except I was using them jumper wires. Now these fuel pumps, if you don't give them enough voltage, they won't pump. I know that from trying to share one of these with a coil supply wire once, it wouldn't work. It kept killing the truck. So I thought it might be good I did a test this without them jumper wires and well, hey, looky there, riddle solved. Uh, I don't recommend doing this. Sparks and gas probably ain't a good idea. Got my fire extinguisher right there. I'm always ready. You damn right I'll put out a fire. Hey, we got a fuel pump again. I should have thought of that two weeks ago. We're gonna come up here to this front bumper and we're gonna mount our moon ice tank. Oh yeah, get us a straight axle, some mags. She'll be ready to run with all the gassers. Couple extra clicks. We trim them up, we want it to look professional. I know what you're thinking. That ain't the right way to do it. If it ain't the right way, then how come that little bracket slotted for a zip tie, huh? Get our supply hose on. For the return, we're gonna borrow our restrictor plate here. All right, there's a fuel system anyone should be proud of. I'm gonna try grounding her right here. We're gonna hit this wire with the Pot County extension kit. Oh, she's chugging. We got fuel flowing in there. Those look like we got a slight leak right there. Yeah, she's a little loose. Loosen this. Snug that. Put our clip back on. Should be good to go. We got a fuel system anyhow. Making a little progress. Still letting her do a little more soaking. Let's see if we can get this thing to run. We ran out of fuel there. I didn't have the fuel pump on. Let's get our fuel pump going. Huh? Huh? You damn right, baby! Man, she just sounded good. I'll find out how thirsty she is. See if she wants to run again.
run so much it won't die. <laughs> There we go. She's getting a little warm here, it looks like. Yeah, we might need to flush that old girl. She's leaking out of somewhere. I don't know if it's the radiator or the hose. As we let this cool down, I'm gonna take a look at our master cylinder for our clutch. I stomped her once and she gave, but now she ain't coming back. Got our hard line off anyhow. Inside, two nuts and a pin. There wasn't no cotter pin on that. She actually used the uh, rust in place retention system. It's nasty in there, guys. So there's that. Hey, she freed up and she's moving. I'd still like to pop that out of there. Hey, looky there. I want to bet money on that. Did y'all see the stuff that come out of that? <laughs> Whoop! There's her spring. I think I got some of that on my face. I can't believe that all came apart. She's just slightly rusty down in there. I don't remember if it was Trucker Bob or Mr. Key who sent us out our little uh, brake cylinder home. She's gonna be slightly too big for this. Gonna have to get creative. Hell, creative's my middle name. A little slit in that. I found 220, so she gets 220. If this don't clean her up, that brake home tool never woulda. See if we can clean her out. Now she's basically been to the machine shop, as you can tell. I did find some 320 I just followed through with. I'll check these holes for rust chunks. Hopefully they're pretty clean. Our seal here looks all right, so I'm gonna clean up these parts, put her back together. There she went, hit me right in the fork head. Go pull her two bolts on her sleeve cylinder. Separating those hoses is a pain down there in the bottom, so I like to just drag her to the top. See if we can get her apart. Her piston needs to come out this way, but she's rusty right in there. She went down. Boy, that wind needs to calm down. Hey, looky there. Tapped her out of there. Come on, man. When you're good, you're good. Uh-huh. She looks good, don't she? Bad news is, these are incredibly hard to get. The good news is, one of the front brake hoses you can get, and the only difference is, it's slightly longer. Gonna pull vacuum with the solo sucker. Oh man, do we got clutch, guys? It feels like we got a clutch. Is she moving, guys? I can't see. Well, I watched the footage. She's moving, guys. We got clutch. Hey, I ain't mad at that. Next, we're gonna try to get this radiator pulled out. We got our uh, hoses, of course. We're gonna pull the fan. Couple Phillips right there. Oh, she's crunchy looking in there. That's real good there. Flexi hose deluxe. I think a piece of the flexi hose spring is down in here. That right there, that's what you want flowing through your engine. Oh, super crunchy. Look at that. There went the bottom neck of a radiator. Uh, I think I found her leak. <laughs> Be careful, you don't want to mess up your fins. I don't think we got to worry about them fins too much. Might as well pull our thermostat cover since we're here. Let's see. Well, she don't look as bad as I thought she was gonna. She's a little thin. I'm gonna use Gorilla Tape, a bag, and a hose clamp, and we're gonna cap off our lower radiator, hose, whatever, the inlet of the water pump. Surround the neck with Gorilla Tape, Slide your double bag over it, two sides. Clamp her on with a hose clamp.
this radiator hose right here she's supposed to be the upper for my dad's in but for right now she's gonna be the fill neck to this can anybody guess what i'm about to pour in here we're gonna load this baby up with as much vinegar as we can get in her oh i know you want more than that i'm gonna have to run to the store guess what happened to be on sale <laughs> Got her topped off. We're gonna let it set, guys. Uh, a little late, just around the thermostat housing. Meh, should be all right. I gotta figure out a solution to this old radiator problem. We got some good news, guys. Speaking of good, boy, that looks good, don't it? I came out this morning and topped her off, but I basically only filled up this, so the engine should have held vinegar. How much can she do in a 14 hour period? I don't know. I found us a radiator. Here she is, and uh, she is in rough, and I mean R-U-F-F, -F, rough shape. Oh, that's good, spill that everywhere. How it's not leaking down there, I have no damn clue, but at least the damn lower radiator hose will stay attached to it. That's more than that one can say. That comes with some bad news, though. Uh, let's just say sacrifices were made. <laughs> The e hauls missing one now. Let's be honest, guys. She deserves a better radiator than that anyhow, so we'll find a good one for the e haul and the old sloppy sausage wagon can have the sloppy radiator. Hell, speaking of sloppy, we need to flush this thing out before we do anything. This is the first time these two have formally met. I was kind of worried there may be tension. e haul seems to be receiving it well, and that's good. Because just imagine, guys, one day we're gonna have all three of these lined up. We're gonna have the damn box truck mafia, baby. Pull our little cap here. Oh, come on. There we go. Let that old vinegar out. We're just gonna let that do some flushing. And calm down, I guarantee you there ain't no coolant in there. It was nothing but damn rust and water. She's cleared up already. Hell, most folks don't know it. This thing's got the push and pull power of four Cummins Dodge full-size one-ton trucks. Keep doubting me, but y'all can mess around and find out. Keep playing with me and I'll put a U-Haul box on the back of her. Whipped up a gasket for this thing where we can get her to stop leaking. Cooling system service. Check. Yesterday she got pretty toasty. Hopefully not too toasty. See if we can get her to fire up. Get the key on. Couple pumps. her down all the way. I don't want to clean her out too much. I was trying to save that for the makeover video. Wind's blowing nice and hard. It's perfect. We can just get rat shit plumb everywhere. We gotta clean her up some if we're gonna sit in here though. And a quick after uh that's good guys i mean literally the crap blew everywhere i did find a few tiles and floor samples we'll talk more about that in the future kind of goes with the story of why the sausage wagon is the sausage wagon but when i was in there i must have hit a headlight switch because looky here <laughs> now we get to sterilize everything today ladies the mission is clear we are to disinfect eliminate and neutralize the enemy I'm 
blow this son of a bitch. Send you back to hell where you came from. That damn pouch ain't empty. Yeah. Get ready, boys. There's them. Probably shouldn't be sweating that much after that small of a mission. Uh, those things are, they're doing their job in there, it looks like. Kills 99% of germ. Spray bomb, baby. <laughs> Just let them do their thing. Saved an extra can for sharpshooting. Gonna let her dry out. Guys, I just tried to bleed the brakes. Long story short, I pulled off her master cylinder here and her little remote reservoir. Took her over to the bench, took it apart, uh, just like our other ones. Gave her the nice little home job and uh, got all that. That was looking pretty good. Got it back on there and either our front hoses are collapsed or the calipers are locked up, but I can't get fluid to neither one of them. I'm running out of time for piddling, so we're just gonna have to see if we can take her up and down with uh, no brakes. Boy, if I was a dog, my tail would be a wagon, cause I'm so happy we're driving the sausage wagon. We've seen that before. I'm guessing the rear brakes are dragging some. If you take it out of gear, I don't know why I just squeaked at y'all. <laughs> you take it out of gear, it'll bring itself to a stop, as you just seen. But on top of that, she does have a little bit of brake to her when I get on it. So maybe the rear brakes got a little. Just giving her a little pinchy pinch. Well, engine's running great though. I just don't know we're getting all of our clutch. Uh, we can try to do a couple donuts to let us know. Power brake. Hey, we got pretty good brakes. By pretty good brakes, I mean they're terrible still. So it's getting a little warm. She's got a slight leak over there. I can't believe these Maypops held together doing them little spinny spins. Guys, I ain't saying she's perfect by any means, but she damn sure has some potential. Hey, she's gonna need some work, guys, but hell, who doesn't? I thought surely one of them was gonna go, but they held together. That's because she's a little trooper, guys. I knew that the moment I synced her. We had her little water leak. Other than that, guys, I mean, what did I spend on money here? You know all I spent? I just ran up to the damn dollar store and grabbed some of this because I ran out of it. So out of this whole video, we spent whatever that just cost. Call it cheating if you want, because I got parts for these things. Uh, I'm freaking happy about that. In fact, I'm pumped. Super pumped. Pump big time. That's one big pump. She's got the potential, guys. I can see it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Now, I know you may be thinking, hey, Puddin, 
that's just a big, ugly, red oxide box truck. One door kind of has a white stripe and the other door doesn't. Hey, Puddins, I'm a super negative Nancy and that thing's got a Puddins Fab Shop blue hood, but the rest of the body ain't that color. Exactly. We're gonna highlight all of that when we give her a makeover. I've got a cheap, budget-friendly vision for already. The sausage wagon's gonna look good. And we'll go more into why she's the sausage wagon. I'm not saying it's gonna say it on the side, but it's probably gonna say it on the side. <laughs> It's definitely going to say it on the side. We're going to have the Yeehaw, the Sausage Wagon, the Dancing King Delivery, aka Box Truck Mafia. Just found some brake fluid here, so we must have blew the old cobwebs out of that one. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're excited about this thing. If you're not, I'll be double excited for you. I'll pick up the slack for excitement around here. What we have in merchandise is on the website, www.puddingsfabshop.com. I know we're kind of running low on inventories. I got more stuff coming, guys. Just be patient with me. Uh, we're on the Instagrammer. We're on the Patreon. Links to all that stuff down below. And I'll see you guys next time. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Running around like an idiot, but I'm so damn happy that thing's driving. <laughs>